So, do you like antiques? I know you've, you've talked about them, and your wife collects them. Well, now that I'm as old as I am, I am an antique. <laughs> wow. What kills me is to go into a store and see something I, I had maybe uh, when I was in college, and it's in an antique shop now. But uh -huh. that's, how, that's how it goes. Um, actually, when I was a little kid, I don't... Now, you're what, out in California? Mm -hmm. California. Okay. Probably not too... Well, there's probably bottles out there, too. But as kids, we used to run through the... Um, we lived in a New Jersey that was in the old days was famous for uh, iron mines oh. and the um, the miners would i guess have their lunch above ground drink a maybe a beer or a, a, maybe some whiskey i suppose or a soda and they just throw it in the woods uh and we we as as kids maybe 40 50 years later we go hunting for those bottles and it was just so cool because mm -hmm. we we would have we knew not to just line them up on a fence and throw rocks at them. We knew to take them down to the antique shop and get a buck or so uh -huh. for a for a <laughs> bunch of bottles, and then go buy candy. Much better. And uh, that's we did that a lot. And I led one thing led to another, and for a, for a fairly long time, my my first wife and I, and a, and my present wife Sandy, um, at, my my wife Sandy and I have just become. Uh, Sandy's an insane uh, antique uh, collector and dealer. She does very well with it. So, yeah. It, yeah. something about them. I don't know. You just can't stand it digging around trying to find the old bottles or, a, a, oh, what we found muskets on, you know, in the, in the back of a barn somewhere. It's a, it's a great, great thing to do. And of course, if we ever find anything, if it looks really valuable, we give it to whoever may have been the owner and they yeah. they'll say they might off you know accept an offer we'll buy it of course but so but it's fun yeah yeah i like yeah. antiques um yeah. i i uh collect more than i should really <laughs> well um, did I, sh I showed you the coins already right yeah yeah i saw yeah. that these uh i i can't stand it i just love collecting uh I know one day I forgot my belt and I had so many darn coins in my pocket. I I had to find a safety pen to, oh, yeah. so I didn't get uh, arrested. But uh, go ahead. All right. Um, what was one of your favorite jobs during your life? Oh, I've had a lot of good ones. I think my favorite was being on the radio. Uh, I was on the radio, I guess, well, both professionally and then as a volunteer at a, like a college station, I'd say for about 20 years, maybe a little longer. And I, and I was a paid uh, radio person, DJ. Oh, I guess for five to maybe eight years, something like that. I might be, I, I could be off on that, but I, I loved uh, having an audience. That was really cool. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's kind of like what you're doing now, except now you're doing videos. I do it on the web now. Um, yeah. I have probably, I, I think I must have a, a darn near a, a thousand, maybe 2,000 videos where I just tell stories. That's mm -hmm. my YouTube site. Yeah. And when, when I had, uh, and then I also, uh, I, I saved a lot of the videos, somehow downloaded them, from when I did, uh, uh, again, YouTube videos, I'd post them over to Facebook. So uh -huh. if a person wants to go to my Facebook page, they can, they can go back about anywhere from present to about seven or eight, maybe nine, ten years of uh, different stories I've done. Would that, just be, would that be under Doc South on Facebook? It would be Doc South or maybe Doc South Show okay for anybody that wants to check that out yeah i'm on facebook then go to i think doc south on facebook i i'm pretty sure that's the case yeah if i if i find it i'll put a link in the description of the video oh, you'll find it. not too many guys called doc south so <laughs> no <laughs> not really not uh 
what was your favorite thing about your childhood? Oh, I think just being, uh, I think just being a kid, that was, I used to love to ride my bike. Uh, we'd go, my friends and I, uh, my hoodlum friends and I would, you'd think we were a biker gang, but no, just pedals and we were about 10. Yeah. And we, a lot of where we lived was in North Jersey, but North Jersey back when we were kids was fairly rural and we could ride. God, I'd, I'd leave in the morning with a, a, you know, my friend and Joe and Steve and Marty and, we, we might get 20 miles out and then 20 miles back uh, or less. And yeah. uh, we just we just have the best yeah. time riding around on our bikes. You yeah. probably do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. we did. Um, now it's instead of a bicycle, I like to ride around on a dirt bike and I tinker around on cars oh, sure. and stuff. Yeah. I, you know, I, I never got into the motorized bikes too much. I, um, just never really did they they look fascinating but uh -huh. i i don't know I, I guess for a while i was a rescue person and uh, down south and their motorcycle wrecks are pretty grisly you got to be careful on those things yeah to put on the helmet put on the protective gear and 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 you'll probably do okay but boy you can get clobbered so. yeah i i've never really had an accident but I uh, decided to make a short YouTube video, um, kind of as an advertisement that you should wear a helmet. Yeah, um, well, you should. Yeah, uh, it's uh, without a without a helmet, you're when you hit that ground, especially off a motorcycle, boy. Yeah, you, <laughs> well, you, your skull's only so thick. It's not as thick <laughs> as as your teacher may have said. Uh -huh. you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, so. Or, or your coach. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I was trying to see if I, no, I don't have any handy here. I was going to show you some of my um, uh, videos of when I, uh, you know, when I had a bike or I, I used to keep one handy, but I don't see it. Uh -huh. So, so anyway, well, what else do you got um, any, uh, Oh, I was wondering uh, why, what the reason was that you started making videos on YouTube. I just, uh, I just thought it would be uh, fun to do. I, uh, I, again, there's, there's a couple, I think there's a couple thousand of them now. Some of them are where I read stories of books I wrote. I read segments of books I wrote, in uh -huh. other words, from the start of the book to the finish. And but and so people who couldn't necessarily buy a book could at least hear me read it. Uh -huh. um, the other was um, I, I just like uh, shooting these doggone videos of made to made to or designed to help people be a little happier in their day. Uh -huh. In other words, you you listen a lot of times to radio and such. People are going, there's just way too much doom and despair. Yeah. And I thought, well, something that's maybe cheerful might make a person think, hey, I would like to uh, go down to the stream and throw rocks and see how many I can skip. Uh -huh. Or I, I will go check out that the bells in the church tower or uh i'm going to i'm going to look at clouds and see what what shapes i can find didn't mm -hmm. i send you a video of a cloud i think i did uh if you uh, did i didn't get it mm. well it, it, that may be i don't see my smartphone handy but if we get a chance i'll run over and uh snag and i can show you what what those videos look like Okay. Um, in fact, yeah, I think my wife's looking at him now. But before we end, I'll, I'll go and you know stay as long as you want. We'll see what we can do. All right. Yeah. Um, not getting one. Yeah, okay. There, there. Um, I don't know why I why this question came to mind, but I decided uh, I would ask anyway. What's your favorite movie? 
Ooh, I don't get to the movies much anymore, but I think my fav one of my favorite movies was um, well when I was younger. It was Peter Pan, the Walt Disney uh -huh. cartoon. Uh -huh. That had me uh, the idea that you know you could uh, get a little pixie dust thrown on you, think of a five wonderful thoughts or whatever it was, yeah. and next you know you're flying off the roof. Um, by the way, a lot of kids back in in the day jumped off of chicken coops and stuff up in the yeah. fractured their leg. But yeah. um, you, unfortunately, people don't fly unless they're in a plane. <laughs> um, but I would, um, but I dearly loved uh, anything to do with a plane. My father was a, uh, I think I may have said was in a fighter was a fighter pilot in World War II, uh -huh. and we had pictures of his planes all over the place. My uncle Don, who had uh, lost his eyes, his eyes, a lot of his eyesight to disease, used to take me um, with friends of his uh, flying, and I could sit in the back of this Cessna and look at the. Oh, it was great! Yeah, and I, I never yeah. got into actually getting a license, but I, if I had had the money, I think I would have liked doing that. And mm -hmm. I've been in sailplanes a few times, which are absolutely unbelievable. You want to thrill? Get in a get in a, a glide well they call them gliders but a glider pilot won't doesn't like you calling it that they're a sailplane because they can go up just as fast as they can come down huh and so um well they get caught in the thermal and yeah. they just ride yeah. the thermal like they're riding up a bed spring and okay. then they pull out of the thermal and then they glide gliding is a process of going down but if you can find another thermal well you can go back up again huh and the, and uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, and I didn't know that. You no, know, it's absolutely quiet. All you hear is the wind going, shh, <laughs> like that. And uh -huh. you hear the wings. Going, yeah. Like that. And you're thinking, all right, there's that wind <laughs> falls off. You're in deep doo doo. But, uh, other than that. Yeah. yeah. So that's scary. That's fun. Oh, that yeah. would be scary. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I would want to try that. Um, I, I think I've been in a, a a chopper a few times, but that would have been with rescue. I think. Uh -huh. I think be, I, that's going back pretty far. Yeah. But, so, how how long do you think you'll make videos on YouTube? Probably till they find my cold dead fingers wrapped around the uh, camera. I uh, okay. love doing. It. Yeah. I yeah. love doing. It. Yeah. There, uh, and I have, like I said, a, a, probably at least 2000 maybe more and uh, you go to doc south show on youtube and they're there mm -hmm. i like watch i watch them almost every day i like them yeah, I, I try to do one a day mm -hmm. yeah so there and there, more, more there's so many i i haven't even watched them all but oh no you you'd be hours and hours and hours yeah <laughs> and i would probably we, get I'd probably get in trouble because I wouldn't be doing my chores. <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. You'd be. Yeah. But, you know, now what I do is I take the camera and uh, if I'm doing a chore, I maybe I take a chore of what it's like to take the garbage cans back mm -hmm. or um, uh, some mess that has to be cleaned up and and like that. And it, it, I don't know. It's just good human interest. Yeah. yeah. I, I never do anything that a kid couldn't look at um nothing that would be risque mm -hmm. and i i just i set them out for people to enjoy yeah about it I, I do the same with my videos i try to keep them rated g i know some people say pg but i think g is a better rating yeah just keep yeah that. i do i i i can't think of one i've done where it, where it would be a shame for a kid to see it yeah i can't think of it. yeah hey i got there's another one more question that I wrote down. Um, okay, <laughs> is doing your taxes the least favorite thing for you to do? Uh, it, now that I'm older, yes. Yeah, I didn't mind doing taxes. Almost rather enjoyed it when I was younger, uh -huh. but now that I'm older, it's uh, it's very. Uh, I like I said, I get brain fog, mm -hmm. and. It's where you you just can't. The numbers just don't 
don't make sense or the yeah. directions yeah. don't make sense. When I was younger, yeah, they made perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm older, oh my God. And you know, it's saying take line three and divide it by line seven and then go to page four and do uh do a do a put your left foot in and your right foot out and do the hokey pokey. Uh it's yeah. I, and then I'm thinking the whole time I'm doing it, God, if I do this wrong, they're gonna call me in for an audit mm -hmm. and uh like that. Generally the the IRS people are pretty good. I remember coming in, I got called in once and I, I had all my stuff. I brought it in bags of papers and receipts and I, I put it on the desk and I said, Well, there you are. And the, the guy says, What's all this? I said, I said, Well, you're gonna go through my my all my records and stuff all my stuff, not my phonograph records, but all my monetary stuff here and uh -huh. I'm, I don't want to go to jail. You know, I was like 20, I was probably in my mid 20s. He says, he says two things. He says, you're not going to jail. You may have some money, but we'll give you a chance to pay it. We're, we're human too, for crying out loud, kid. You know, it, I was like 23 or something, just married yeah. to my first wife, um, Molly, and we had an antique shop. And uh, he said, really, he says, I just want to go over it. Let me look at it here. OK, he says, look, you you didn't you obviously made more a little more than what you're saying here. And I'm and, and you're you're asking for benefits or deductions that really you, you can't quite claim. But here's some you can claim a little more on them. He says, really, I'm just neatening it up. It just didn't seem quite right. You did a good job. Quit shaking, you know, and, yeah. uh, and walking around in circles moaning. He <laughs> says, it's really making everybody here nervous. Yeah. He says, you're okay. You owe me a hundred bucks. I said, okay, a hundred bucks. All right. I figured I was going to Leavenworth, but no. Yeah. Well, I wish they would just. Like, even for everybody, I feel like they should just say, okay, for this year, you're going to pay so-and-so, and they figure the rest out. That would be nice. It, yeah. I, I yeah. think, uh, except they're, I guess the P, the uh, accountants, what would they do? But they were talking for a while about making taxes a little easier to do. You made, uh, you made, uh, you took in, I don't know, $50,000 okay, you owe us 4% or something uh -huh. like that, 10%, whatever. And, uh, okay, you took in 100000 okay, you owe us a little more, you know, that kind of thing. It would, it, it, all the rigmarole and the uh, trying to figure out what this, this phrase meant, that phrase meant, it does get, you can go nuts. Um, it, it's, it, it's, 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 and yet it's a great country it needs it needs money so yeah. what are you going to do yeah i don't know yeah, you don't want the soldiers going off with a slingshot <laughs> I mean, they, they, they need a they need a pretty good plane but yeah <laughs> how it goes yeah so, okay and what else you got there oh that was the last question i wrote down um oh. i'm trying to i'm trying to think of anything else that i Oh, you well, said you said in one of your videos you're moving or something. Well, we're trying to. We're trying to move uh, uh, a little more into the into the woods and uh, in a little bit of a more rural setting. Okay. That That's would, good. That would help because, frankly, around here the houses are half a million dollars, a million mm -hmm. dollars. We can't get anything like that. The wife, yeah. and good lord. I work in a supermarket. I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm not someone working at the mint uh, <laughs> in charge of the gold and silver, you know. Oh yeah. And no. I've never been really rich. No. Well, really. hey, uh, you can be rich in other ways, like have a good family and a place to yeah. live. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Liking what you do. I remember. Uh, like I said, I think I said I met De Niro, and we, I was talking about um, 
I like writing stories and and uh, videos and scripts. And he he got one of mine, and he he said how much he liked it. And he said, "Yeah, it's a nice nice script." Uh, it's, uh, I, 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 he said, why'd you write? I think he, no, I forget just how that all worked, but it wound up saying the value was that you wrote a nice script uh -huh. and it wasn't a matter of, Hey, you're going to make $80,000 with it or a, a, a million. Yeah. Just be glad you, you wrote the darn thing. You made mm -hmm. the world a little better. So that, that's how it I just yeah, there must be a lot of other things I could do. What else? I got another. Um, who's your favorite comedian if you have one? Ooh, I have. I like just about anyone can make you laugh. Uh -huh. Um, boy, I used to like the. Th I it was. I, I mean, as a kid, I adored the Three Stooges, Laurel and Hardy. Uh huh. Um, you know them. They're, they're from yeah. the thirties. Uh, Spike Jones and his City Slickers, as far uh -huh. as musicians go, they would play. They they could probably make a tune out of tapping on your wallet. Yeah, um, they could. I mean, they yeah. th they would yodel mm -hmm. uh, and and play a xylophone, you know, upside down or something. I mean, they were, and the music was great. Uh, I liked all the. I loved the doo wop groups. Uh -huh. uh, from the fifties and the sixties, they um, they knew their um, they just get out there on a street corner and start, you know, the bass singer like that, and then next you know some the guy who could sing falsetto would be have a real high squealy voice, and then there'd be a tenor or two in the middle would match their voices and. And it would sound like they could make two guys sound like four, uh -huh. and and it was and, and and it was just fantastic. And then throw in a little saxophone solo or a good drum beat, and you had a, a little hand clapping. You had you had a pretty good thing to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Spike Jones was pretty else? interesting. Yeah. Oh, geez. one other thing I always liked was uh, I love uh, history. Uh huh. Uh, and studying things like that it was it was always fun to and i'm no expert but it was it's interesting to go to a like a place like gettysburg and realize how many people got slaughtered there uh yeah. killed yeah. maimed um it's hideous uh, mm -hmm. uh battle um most of the civil war battles were they, they look glamorous but when the battle was done there was a lot of uh a lot of screaming uh, in the in the uh, medicine tents. Yeah, uh, the operating tents. Um, hideous, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people just didn't make it. They, they weren't equipped to, to handle that kind of injury. So yeah, I and, saw. Uh, even, I'm sorry. I saw a post online once, um, and and it said something about instead of having war, uh, the Two world leaders should have a duel to settle the problem instead of a war. Yes. Yeah, it'd be yeah. a whole lot quieter on the on the Eastern Front. Yeah. Uh, if it was, uh, yeah, if if two leaders had to go out, if if Hitler and Mussolini had to go out to decide the fate of Italy, chances mm -hmm. are they they somehow work it out. Yeah, uh, with without fighting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be a lot a lot better. Well, anyway. Um, I guess my favorite comedian would be Jack Benny. Um, he was good. Yeah. Yeah. I like his humor. Yeah, it's, it's it's a lot different than ones these days. Yeah. Jack Benny. Well, number one, it was all clean. Yeah. Um, Rochester. Um, his, uh, I guess his valet was, was, you know, even though you might say, well, he was, African American, and back in those days, he, they were kind of frowned upon, which was not. I don't don't think it was such a good thing. But him and Jack Benny got along like like they were brothers. Yeah, and um, Rochester could give as much as he took, and uh -huh. that that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it was. 
It was neat. Rochester was quite the, yeah. quite the, I can't imitate him, but he was, he was good. And Benny, well, he, you, you could, you just giggled watching him walk on stage. <laughs> and the suits, like you said, they were great. Yeah, he walked oh, like a duck. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. The, who, the, who the heck walked like the duck? Uh, oh, John, Groucho Marx. Yeah. I think he could walk like a duck. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe not. I might be wrong on that. Uh, the, I remember that was a joke. Uh, one thing I like about Jack Benny is he would he would let people make fun of him, and, and uh, he wouldn't take it to heart. No, no. Yeah. No, and there, and you're right that he could take he could take it he could dish it out too, mm-hmm. and uh, it was yeah. it was pretty good, and of course um, he was always in. Uh, oh, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was always. No, his girlfriend. They'd have their little spats, but that was about it. Yeah. So, um, what was her name? Uh, Mary Mary Livingston, I think it was. Mary Livingston. Yes. Yeah. And they actually were married, I guess. Um, I think they were. Yeah. Yeah. They, they had. They daughter. were very close. Yeah. I think her dot. Do- their daughter. Yeah. No, they were away now. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's there. There was so much, and a lot of that that humor. It was. I remember seeing it on early television. Um, but th- that a lot of that was radio. You want to find some funny stuff? You get. You get the Jack Benny uh, show when it was a radio show. Mm-hmm. And boy, there, you can be in stitches uh, by the time they're done with you. Because they, they, Jack Benny would be getting it way over his head in one thing or another. And uh, you could just see it just piling up and it was just going to be splattered. Yeah, you know, he was good. He it was, was good. great. It was great. I feel like I mean, there are comedians um, in this day and age that are pretty funny, but I feel like back then, Jack Benny had more structure to his comedy than they do now. Yeah, Jack Benny, um, just, like I said, just fine. The yeah. um, the Stooges, of course, the, the Marx Brothers. Um, oh, there was some guys, I can't think of their name, uh it was a, it was another brother act uh four oh. or five guys can't think of them right now but they were they were funnier than the devil um oh there were so many again yeah. uh Davis and andy sergeant belko i think i said already um uh, laugh in was funny uh there, there was there's thank heaven there's no shortage of comedians yeah i'm glad and it's when you get older, it's fun to go to the ones that are in the clubs, and they they get they get to the point where you don't know if you're going to if you're going to be able to keep breathing. Uh, it, they they get you laughing so hard. You'll see. Yeah, but you got to be a little. Older than that. You're too young. Yeah. Hey, this kid wants to come in. No, I don't think so. How old are you? I'm 22. Well, then you can get in. Yeah, you hand yeah. me a card. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's a no card. <laughs> no, I'm sure it did. But yeah. 22, gosh. Yeah. Boy, I was 22 once. That was 50 years ago. No, what am I saying? 50. It was 57 years ago. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, yeah, oh. I wasn't around then. <laughs> no. Well, that was right after the World War II ended. Mm-hmm. Um, all the uh, the wedding chapels were full, and there was a line. To get in, the, the as soon as those, the one thing to say about my parents' generation, they uh, they went to war, but they didn't uh, they didn't relish it. Yeah. And when the war, when the war was over, good. Mm-hmm. It's, where's the house? Where's a girl? Yeah, I I think my parents may have dated. I may have said this already, but I don't think they dated much longer than six months, and they were married. Huh. And um, it it was, and and there were people got married. I, again, I may have said, but and you can cut it out if need be. But yeah. they uh, they 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 met sometimes on a first date and got uh-huh. married. Huh. 
huh? at, after the war. It yeah. was, and and they were married till the day they died. Uh, just uh, it, it was just. I think war showed you that much better to uh, do your fighting at home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what keep it in the paint? kitchen. The snow for go. Yeah. And uh, what do you mean you're coming home uh, at eight o'clock with beer on your breath? You know that kind of thing. So yeah. no, they, uh, they, they, they a lot of those couples that got married during the war stayed married until they're dying. And, uh, so yeah, well, and that's good. Yeah, at least when it's been my experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, anything else? There must be some. More um, well, I. W wish there were was <laughs> i wish there was but uh looks like we're running out of time here um, running out of tape okay yeah but hey i want to okay. say thank you so much for doing this i'm more than happy to yeah happy as happy as can be and it's uh best I can say it's uh it's a good world it's a bad world here and there but for the most part it's a darn good world and the uh, the more we embrace it and try to be good to one another, so much the better. I, mm -hmm. I think this baloney of that you see, where a lot of people are just into themselves, I think that's it, it's much better to serve than to uh, uh, than to not. Yeah, spread the gospel and pray for people. Yep, darn right. <laughs>